all know how hot and humid that place gets and yeah, riding in it is not fun. It's like being in a very, very hot sauna without drinking much and sweating a lot for an hour while you're exercising, so it is horrendous. Suzuka is a track that is not um, uh, very thirsty for the bikes. It's low consumption fuel. That means the stints are longer because we're limited by the capacity of the tank, which is 24 liters. And obviously the track is not thirsty, you do more laps, you spend more time on the bike, more time sweating. So it's about an hour, the standard stint in Suzuka. Some riders have the hydration, have the, the water in the helmet. It's, we can take a small drink like this. It's never enough. It's only a small amount of water, so 400 milliliters is not enough. The last 20 minutes are really, really tough. You do get very dehydrated. You can lose up to two kilos. Your body temperature goes up and you start to feel really ill. So it's very challenging because of that. We always weight ourselves before and after the stint. And last year, I make one stint, the first one, and I need to drink so much, but I said, no, I cannot drink. I need to weight myself first. And I lost 2.8 kilo in one hour riding, which is quite a lot. Uh, to deal with the humidity and the heat is the, the hardest uh, thing for me. One solution I find is I wear a small cap inside the, he the helmet just to, to absorb any sweat because if you have some sweat building and then you take the break and the sweat goes on the inside of the visor, you are like this. You can't see through, so even if it collects one or two drips of the sweat, it's a good solution for me to use that cap. Yeah, and after this, it's just uh, be brave and manage the heat.